driving on wet roads is treacherous enough. Add leaves, and the results far worse. Well, you wouldn't think about it, fall being so beautiful, but when those falling leaves hit the roadway, they can be very slick because it's something between your tires and the road surface. So what ends up happening is you actually create an icy condition. Making stopping extremely difficult. The biggest piece of advice? But when it's raining or it's foggy, which we do have a lot of that type of weather this time of year, or leaves are falling on the roadway, especially in a heavy treed area, you want to give yourself twice the distance. There's a definite science to figuring out what that distance should be. It has to do with the speed of the car and what's called the coefficient of friction. In other words, how much connection there is between the tires and the road. When it's wet and there are leaves, there is less friction and traction suffers. And that depends on many factors, including the road surface, the amount of leaves, and the amount of rain, along with tire treads. So let's look at an example. Driving on dry pavement at 40 miles an hour, it will take about 60 feet to stop safely, or about four car lengths. But now let's add in wet pavement and leaves. At the same 40 miles an hour, it will take about 150 feet to stop safely, equaling about 10 car lengths. And all conditions equal, every time you double your speed, the stopping distance quadruples. There are other hazards as well. Leaves covering the roads can mask potholes, bumps, or curbs. Car maintenance is important too. Check your tires and tire pressure and replace windshield wipers every six months. But if you do find yourself sliding, you always want to turn, uh, not aggressively, but gently into the slide and add power. That will allow you to drive away from the situation. Color seekers have 31 states and 3,000 miles of roads to navigate. Throw in rain, and you must keep your distance. I'm meteorologist Chris Warren, The Weather Channel.